Here's a quick walkthrough of the nail lab, which is a reaction between iron and copper two chloride. The first step would be to put on your goggles and keep them on while you're in the lab area. The next thing we want to do is prepare two nails. They're the source of the iron for the reaction. The procedure will tell you to sand these a little bit, and all that does is scrape off any uh, iron oxide that is on the surfaces. You want to kind of make them a bit shiny. And the reaction is going to take place on the end of the nail, the not pointy side. So you just want to rough those up a little bit until you see more of a shiny surface coming through on your nails. And you'll see some maybe some iron filings, dust coming off the nails. That just helps the reaction go a little bit quicker so that unreacted iron is available in the solution. And it's a good idea too to just take a paper towel and kind of rub off any of those bits of sanded off iron and iron oxide that you have. Next I want to get the mass of these nails. So I'll make sure my balance is zeroed. This is our most sensitive balance so it fluctuates a little bit. And I'll go ahead and put those on the pan. And I'm going to jot down that number, 14.294 grams. That is the iron. And it's fluctuated a little bit, but again, a thousandth of a gram is a very small amount. I'm not too concerned about that. Next, it says to prepare a 100 milliliter beaker. Um, we put initials on here in pencil so that that could be erased later if needed. And I want to get the mass of this beaker as well. And it's pretty much zeroed, so. I do want to record this number. I'm going to want to be able to subtract out the mass of that beaker um, on my day two calculations. So the beaker is 51.568 grams. Next, we want to add our copper two chloride to the beaker. The lab suggests that we add between six and 8.5 grams of copper two chloride. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and zero the balance. And that way I'll know how much copper two chloride I've added. The copper two chloride is a bluish green crystal, um, kind of a nice color. And again, I'm looking for a target of about six to 8.5 grams. So I'm actually gonna take one of these bigger chunks, start with that. And that's about one and a half. That gets me up to about 2.7. So another way I can add this, if it's in a weighing dish already, is just use the dish to transfer. over six grams, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that value, 6.313 grams. That is my copper chloride. The copper chloride is going to dictate how much of this reaction goes. We're gonna form copper through this reaction. We'll show you that in a second. And that really is your probably your most important measurement because everything else will hinge on that. So next, I want to prepare a solution of copper chloride. It says add enough distilled water. So you'll have distilled water in a rinse bottle um, to dissolve the copper two chloride. It suggests about 60 milliliters. And on this particular beaker, it is marked. I don't need to be exact, but around 60 milliliters will be a good amount. So I'm trying to dissolve the copper two chloride and you get a nice bright blue solution. Then to make the reaction go, it says place the two nails head down into the solution, watch it for two to three minutes, and then you let it sit. You can also use the nails a little bit to swirl the solution if you notice any undissolved copper chloride. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll try to get a close up of what's happening 
uh, as the reaction proceeds. So again, pointy side up, I can swirl a little bit, and you can already see that some copper has formed, and that will continue to happen as the iron reacts with the copper chloride. And then I just let it sit overnight, and tomorrow we'll collect the copper.